Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this decidedly windy Thursday, the 29th of September, 2022, the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels. My name is Ian Anderson, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office Team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. This service is streamed live on weekday mornings at 9 a.m., exclusively on Zoom. To participate in the live service and to access the service leaflet for today's service, just visit Good Shepherd's website, goodshepherdonline.org. Click on the worship drop-down list and select the prayer page. For the service leaflet, just look for today's date. The link for the live service appears immediately above the leaflets. So good morning, Letty. Good morning, Julie and Pete. And good morning, Wendy. Thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer on this feast day, which in Canada we grew up calling Michael Mass, just like Christmas. So, <clears throat> so let us get started on today, the Feast of St. Michael and all angels. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Come, let us adore him. Our invitatory psalm this morning is a portion of Psalm 95. Venite exaltamus domino. We shall read the Venite together in unison. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend to the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Come, let us adore him. <clears throat> the psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm number 103, Benedict Anima Mea, and we shall say it together in unison. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives you all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. 
He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows whereof we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments and do them. The Lord has set his throne in heaven, and his kingship has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the word, to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Our Old Testament reading is from the book of Genesis, and it is the story of uh, Jacob after he has stolen his brother's birthright and is fleeing to uh, go to Haran to stay with his, uh, with, uh, his father's relatives uh, <clears throat> and uh, to escape the wrath of his brother whom he has cheated. And in it, we hear the story of Jacob's dream where he sees angels ascending and descending a ladder going to heaven. So a reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob left Beersheba and went towards Haran. He came to a certain place and stayed there for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set up on earth, the top of it reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord stood beside him and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring. And your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth. And you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And all the families of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your offspring. No that I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Then Jacob woke from his sleep and said, surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God and this is the gate of heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle we say in response to our Old Testament reading is a song of creation. And this is this, this canticle that has an invocation and a doxology and then three sections and it is customary to read one of the sections. And today, appropriately, we will read section one, the cosmic order. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. 
Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat. Winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and I highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Our New Testament reading is from the book of Revelation. And in it, we hear the uh, the battle of the angels between good and evil, Michael being in the lead of the white hats, so to speak. So a reading from the book of Revelation. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they did not cling to life even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath because he knows that his time is short. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our New Testament canticle is appropriately the Magnificat, the Song of Mary. This is the song that Mary proclaims on visiting her kinswoman, Elizabeth. And this happens immediately after the Annunciation when the angel Gabriel, since angels are in the air today, the angel Gabriel has appeared to her. So let us say together the song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us now confess our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. 
he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day is the Collect for the Feast of St. Michael and all angels. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted in a wonderful order the ministries of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant that, as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment, they may help and defend us here on earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our collect for Thursday is a collect for the renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the prayer for this week, a prayer for quiet confidence. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest, we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ throughout the world and in every denomination but particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Mundu, South Sudan, the Right Reverend Samuel Lomude Eluzai, suffragan bishop. We pray also for our own diocese of Southeast Florida and our bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton and his wife, Kate, and our companion diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Toliara, Madagascar, the Right Reverend Dr. Samatiana Johnson Razafindra Lambo, Bishop. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant the people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family, 
and those dear to them, remembering today especially Bob and Pam, Darcy, Roman, Barbara, Jean, Peter, Carol Ann, Jim and Jerry, Carolyn, Bonnie, Charles and Kathy, Tenley and family, and Bonnie and David. We pray also today for our serve ministries, remembering especially our pastoral care team, that members of Good Shepherd who are suffering or struggling may receive prayerful support from their fellow parishioners. And St. George's Dinner Ministry, that less fortunate individuals in the Northeast quarter of Palm Beach County may know God's love while receiving a hot meal. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things on heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. I'll begin this morning by again giving thanks for the Episcopal ordination of the Right Reverend Dr. Douglas Frederick Scharf uh, last weekend. I'm glad it was last weekend and not this coming weekend. It might've been a little bit hairy going over there. We probably would have had to have uh, postponed it. And in a related note, I would like to pray for our search committee and vestry as we await uh, God's uh, will to, as to who will be the next rector of uh, Good Shepherd Episcopal Church. So this is the prayer for the election of a bishop or other minister. Almighty God, giver of every good gift, look graciously on your church and so guide the minds of those who shall choose a rector for this parish that we may receive a faithful pastor who will care for your people and equip us for our ministries. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. And of course, we pray for all those in the path of Hurricane Ian and all of those who are suffering in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Um, there was tremendous storm surge and flooding on the west coast of Florida, the Gulf Coast. I saw photos from Fort Myers and Naples that looked quite dire. So be praying uh, for those who are there. O merciful Father, you have taught us in your holy word that you do not willingly afflict or grieve the children of men. Look with pity upon the sorrows of your servants for whom our prayers are offered. Remember them, O Lord, in mercy. Nourish their souls with patience. Comfort them with a sense of your goodness. Lift up your countenance upon them and give them peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's pray also for uh, Kathy and Harry as they travel on their whirlwind tour, uh, uh, their cruise and then tour of Spain. Oh God, our heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, preserve those who travel and particularly Kathy and Harry and their friends. Surround them with your loving care, protect them from every danger and bring them in safety to their journey's end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. And I'd also like to give thanks for uh, the young people of our parish uh, and particularly for those who are going through confirmation formation. Uh, there are 10 of them. And uh, they are going to be celebrating this Sunday uh, at a party for them and their sponsors uh, at the homes of one of uh, our sponsors. So let us pray for young people. 
God, our Father, you see your children growing up in an unsteady and confusing world. Show them that your ways give more ways than the more life than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure, not as a measure of their worth, but as a chance for a new start. Give them strength to hold their faith in you and to keep alive their joy in your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now let us continue with a litany of thanksgiving. Let us give thanks to God, our Father, for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us. For the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea, we thank you, Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ, we thank you, Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and families, and our friends, we thank you, Lord. For minds to think, and hearts to love, and hands to serve, we thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work, and leisure to rest and play, we thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity, we thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice, we thank you, Lord. For the communion of saints in all times and places, we thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me on this feast day of Michael Mass. Uh, I'm so glad that you were able to join me this morning. I hope everybody kept safe during the rain of yesterday and the winds of last night. Uh, and uh, do continue to pray for those who are suffering because of the after effects or in the path of the hurricane as it proceeds. Now a tropical storm, of course. Um, so uh, thank you again, be here tomorrow. I believe Father Derek is on tomorrow. And uh, as you go out into the world today on this blustery day and you greet your neighbor, do remember to be kind. One never knows what another is going through in this world. Amen.